create amazing detail without even upscaling. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Lately, I'm dropping AI workflow gold nuggets like this and this and this. Check out these videos. There's a lot of good stuff in there. But today, I want to talk about something called a detail tweaker. And this can be used even with low resolution images to give you amazing detail. Let's get started. So this whole technique works with Allura, which means it is super easy and can be used with every model. So we need to prepare here a little bit, but it's super easy. Go to this link, which I provide below this video, and you want to click here on download. It's a very small file, only 36 megabytes. And you want to download this into your automatic 1111 models folder and in there into the LoRa folder with your other LoRas. Because this is a LoRa, this should also work with other UIs like Vlad Diffusion or even Invoke AI. After you've done this, start up automatic 1111 as usual. On the right side, you see here a pink button. You want to click on that and this is going to open up this section down here where you have multiple tabs. One of them says LoRa. When you click on the LoRa tab, this is showing the LoRa collection you have right now. And when you click on the refresh button here, this is going to load all of the LoRa's you have right now, even if you downloaded them without restarting automatic 1111. So you can basically add LoRa's on the fly. By the way, you can see here that I'm having one of these LoRa's have a thumbnail image. So when you want to add your own thumbnail images here, you want to create one of these images with your text to image generation in automatic 1111 and then simply mouse over this area down here where the name is and and there it says replace preview. You click on that and this will save the active image as a preview. So here is how this LoRa works. Write your prompt as usual with any model you want, with any kind of prompt you want. It doesn't really matter about the style or the subject you want to create. And then down here you can see the add detail LoRa. When you click on that, this is adding at the end of the prompt this addition here. So the LoRa is now loaded with a strength of one. The interesting thing about the detail tweaker is that you can use this with a strength of between minus two and plus two. And of course, you can also go here with smaller values, for example, 1.2, 1.5, 1.8. So it doesn't have to be full numbers. Here you can see an example that is using several of these values from 1.5 to minus 1.5. Now, the interesting thing here is that you can see that this will not only add detail, you can also reduce the detail in the image. And that can be good if you want to have a more simplified style or a more cartoonish style that can really improve your image. But also in the positive direction, you can see that this will add a lot of detail. When the value is very high, it might even add too many details. However, as you can also see with this preview, there is a caveat with using this LoRa because it will change the appearance of your image. I will show you a trick in a second on how to avoid this. But before that, I want to show you how you can start this test range here and also get it named at the top. So after you've written your normal prompt, you want to copy this addition here with the LoRa. Go down here where it says script, click on the pop down menu and select the X, Y, Z plot. In here, you're going to select from another pop down list, the prompt SR, which stands for search and replace. When you have this in here, you're going to copy the text in here once and then separate the same text multiple times with a comma and change the weight value of the LoRa. It is important that you have in the first place here the exact same text as you have in your prompt because it is searching for this first text here and then replacing it with all of these other texts after that. At the last position, don't make a comma because otherwise this is going to render an extra image without the LoRa at all. After you click here on generate, this is going to render through all the images and create an overview grid for you as you can see it here. This method can be very effective and fast to test out different settings. Now, as I said, I also want to show you a way to use this LoRa without changing the image. So I rendered one of the images completely without the LoRa. Now let's go to applying the LoRa. And for that, we're going to click here to send to image to image. 
With our image in place, we're going to again click here on the pink button and we are going to load our add detail LoRa. I'm added a comma after the last word in the prompt before the LoRa. And now also I'm going to increase the value to 1.5. I'm setting my resize to 1 and I'm setting my denoise setting to 0.3. I'm going to use the sampler DPM++ 2S A Keras and we can already render the image. Now here you can see in a side by side comparison that this has added a lot of details to that image without changing the pose or the clothing of our character. And here is also a version with 0.5 and with one for the LoRa weight. Let me know in the comments what your favorite trick is to create amazing AI art. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.